Hello and welcome once again to yet another tutorial on this channel. Today we are going to learn how to get access to free Autodesk educational products licenses for students, educators and other eligible users. Lately I have been getting lots of emails and uh, questions regarding Autodesk free access to products which is normally given to students. So this is simple. We're going to try and register a mock account just to let you know what happens. So basically what you need to do is to first go to www.autodesk.com and then slash education basically it's the educational products website and you can see that from here you can unlock educational access to Autodesk products so once on this page you just need to click get started yes and once you get here this is what I call the sign in page you can't sign in because maybe you don't have an account. If you already have one, then you can log in. But in our case, we are going to create an account. So click create an account and then enter your region. In our case, the country will be Kenya. And then the educational role, the school IT administrator is my role. Remember from here, you can pick any role. You could be a student, an educator, an IT admin or a design competition mentor. These four roles are allowed access to the product. And then the institutional type, we could say that this is a either high school or secondary or maybe university or post-secondary institution. And then we'll move next. So from this point, we give uh, your details, your personal details as the person registering. So, so I simply need to key in my official names and then the email address. And we need to confirm the email address again. So you retype the same. You can simply copy and paste. So I'm told this account already exists. Let me try a different email. Yes, that does not exist. And then we again confirm this. Then we give a password of our choice and take note of the information given here. There should be at least a capital letter and then small letters. So once you meet the criteria of having at least one letter in caps, one number, a minimum of eight characters, and at least three unique characters, then you will be able to create an account. So I'll do this again. And that is done. And then we accept the terms and conditions here, terms of use. And then we create the account. Once this is done, you will be informed that a verification is required. So go check your email, log into this, and let's see if there is an email from Autodesk. So the email we were waiting for is finally here. So we get a verification uh, link and the message is that this should be or the link expires within 60 minutes after initiation so if you don't verify your account within 60 minutes then you may need to generate another uh, verification link so we click on that of course this is now done you're told that the account is verified this single account gives you access to all your autodesk products so you need to check this box 
if you need if maybe you need to receive marketing information and so on it's optional so we can click done and you're good to go to confirm your eligibility you'll be asked for some information let's type in the details of the institution so we see you can find the institution so there's a lot of information here that you need to do you need to request the school to be added let's use an institution that already exists because uh, this will take quite some time for us to complete so let use for example maseno university where i am a student the next and account is set your account is now updated to access the autodesk education community and then we continue we are signed into our autodesk account let's see the products and services that we are entitled to at the moment we are being asked to buy products so once the account is created we now want to sign in with the details so we do that and then we key in the password <clears throat> so once we've logged in uh, we are told that hey peter we still need to confirm your eligibility for educational access for autodesk products and you can learn more by clicking this link or click get started to begin so we want to get started right away so we click on that and then of course your information is populated uh, the institution type was, is a university we can confirm that and then from this point you're now asked for additional documentation uh, you're told that please upload a copy of documentation issued to you by your educational institution e.g tuition receipt or student id employee id so the student receipt or id is for a student trying to access these products the employee id will be for the it administrator the educator or maybe a competition mentor or something like that as proof that you attend or teach or are employed at a qualified educational institution you have 14 days to upload your documentation so these documentations will include for example your full legal name which is by default taken from the information you gave so the document we submit must match this information then the name of the educational institution at which you are enrolled or employed so if you are uh, an educator at Maseno University so the name of the institution must match this so if you are giving a document uh, from the institution then it must match this a date within the current school term again the preferred documents are given here that a transcript for example school issued confirmation letter or a copy of your student id or the photo id is not required so you can drag the documents you need and from this end you can see the type of documents they are talking about transcripts with full name of the student school name and date then uh, school issued confirmation letter this should be maybe the registration letter or a letter indicating that you're a student uh, an employee or an institution and then a school id so you can drag and drop the documents here or you can alternatively browse i've located some documents here i'm going to submit my letter of admission at maseno and a transcript to the current course so i have the two documents here degree in ict management submit admission letter and the transcript so let's open this we've done this and 
we can now submit the application yes and once you're done autodesk basically thanks you and you are asked to close this i'll have to check my email from time to time in anticipation for any communication from autodesk and whenever i get that if i'm eligible then i'll be able to access education products from autodesk this process changes from time to time so what we've gone through now might not be the case maybe in the next few months or so autodesk keeps improving their systems and in doing so they also keep changing some of these processes just be on the lookout in case something changes then you can as well adjust to the process but basically what i've taken you through is the process of registration and the eventual submission of documents uh, seeking eligibility to access free products from autodesk once you get that you can download and install any products that will be available to you as a student or as an educator when the process is completed as we've done it normally takes up to 48 hours to confirm eligibility or denying you access to products based on the information you've given to autodesk you need to check your emails regularly for confirmation of the same and lastly you will also get to know the period whether you will get a one-year license or a three years license which may be subject to renewal if you are still eligible to get that kind of products as a grid guys uh, we were to keep checking whether we'll get an email from autodesk well 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 oh there's an email here from autodesk as you can see uh, the subject is congrats you now have educational access to autodesk products let's open this yes guys we have education access to autodesk products the email says that welcome peter you're eligible for free one-year educational access to autodesk products through autodesk education community your access is valid through november 2nd 2023 and you'll have the opportunity to renew if you are eligible to use any of the available products visit autodesk education community and make your product selections now let's start designing and making so basically you can see the get products link here still have questions we've got you covered of course you can visit the autodesk knowledge network or contact autodesk directly and then they say best autodesk so let's click on get products and see what happens so finally we are, we are not signed in so i think we can now click on get started and instead of creating an account we now just need to sign in to the account we created earlier on so that was the email and then i key in the password yes that's it and then i log into autodesk educational account and of course there it is there it is guys you are confirmed you are confirmed congrats we've confirmed that you're eligible for educational access to autodesk products and your account status has been updated your access will last for 12 months or your access will last 12 months from your confirmation of eligibility date after which you can renew if you are still eligible now let's start designing and making so basically once that is done you simply click on get software and that will take us to the list of products that we have 
uh, you can see from here hi peter your educational access to autodesk products is valid through november 2nd 2023 you can choose okay choose a product below and of course we can choose from all these products on autodesk uh, educational community website so we can choose from all these products we can actually pick a collection from this end because uh, autodesk basically comes uh, packaged in three collections nowadays we have the architecture engineering and construction collection we call it the aec and then we have the product design and manufacturing collection it is also known as pdmc and then we have media and the entertainment collection or the mec so we can actually pick a collection here and then get a license as you can see so if we want tinkercad then we can click on get license and we can start using the, this product as you can see it's accessible over uh, the cloud so inventor this is a windows platform product you can download and install it uh, autocad for mac is basically for mac platforms you can download this into a macbook or an ipad and so anything with with the windows icon is a windows operating system based product anything that comes with three different icons that is windows apple and cloud can be accessed through the three platforms if it's only a mac icon then that product can only be installed in a mac environment and so on so all these are products that we can download or access for free for the next one year provided that the account is eligible and you've given out a critical information that shows that you are a student a tutor a mentor or an admin to an it environment in an institution so all these are now accessible to me for the next one year let's hope i'll be able to do something great with these products so you can see inventor Basically, I can access any Autodesk product in the next 12 months. So thank you guys for watching this. Let's keep it here. Let's keep sharing and help me grow by watching and sharing. And I just can't thank you enough for being so supportive. So let's meet in the next tutorial. And... Thanks once again for being such a loyal supporter. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something and you can share this out with friends out there. Thank you for watching. Let's meet in the next tutorial.